Uh, what makes you a good goal scorer? I think it's a lot of things. It's not an easy, uh, easy thing, and sometimes it's sometimes it comes easier than other times. But um, it's, you know, you have to go to the net. You have to get around the net. Nowadays, goals are scored usually tight. You know, it's it's hard, getting harder and harder to beat goalies from from long range. So uh, you got to get to the net front, um, and you got to shoot pucks. Got to be willing to get shots on net. And I think no matter what league you look at, <coughs> the guys who score the most have the most attempts uh, and shots on net. So. Um, you got to get your body there. You got to get pucks there, and um, you know that's that's something that I think everyone that scores knows and, and uh, focuses on. Yeah, I think anytime you can <coughs> get to the middle of the ice uh, in the offensive zone, obviously it improves your chances by a lot. Uh, whether it be on the rush and you cut to the middle, or uh, if you can get pucks in the slot, um, that's the best spot to score. And <coughs> and then as far as selection goes, it's it's definitely not always the hardest shot that's going in, but Anytime you can change the angle just a little bit before you shoot, pull it in or push it out or something that, that changes what the goal is seeing, um, it can uh, open up a spot or, or create some confusion. Um, and then a lot of times too, it's, it's, you know, the higher levels you get at, the, the more difficult it becomes to get chances uh, with just the goalie in front of you. So a lot of times you have defensemen in front of you and bodies in front of you. And, and it's just sometimes about getting it past that first guy and pushing the puck or pulling the puck around one guy and then getting it to the net. So sometimes you don't even, you know, you're not even looking at a spot. You're just trying to beat the first guy that's in front of you. And and uh, a lot of times that's, that that screen is what makes the, you know, confuses the goalie. And, and if you if you put the puck on net, uh, you know, good things happen. Uh, in terms of uh, individual training, uh, how do you? practice scoring do you have a different kind of uh, like scoring situations that you practice on your own or with the team I think a lot of that individual stuff has to come during the off season uh, especially in the professional level in the KHL we our practices are mostly team kind of systems and uh, you know you don't you don't have a whole lot of time <coughs> excuse me to work on individual stuff so I think the summertime is really important to to try to find some extra ice, or uh, you know, even if it's a small shooting area where you can work on different shots, different kind of releases, and um, you know, there's it's never a perfect situation uh, to shoot, and you're always off balance, or puck is too far in front of you, or too close to your feet. So it's a matter of practicing those little little changes in your shot that that makes a big difference when the season comes. So I spend a lot of time in the summer doing that, um, and then when the season comes, it's you know, more focused on the team game and, and uh, what you did in the offseason typically, um, you know, the improvements that you can make uh, show when the season starts. This particular summer I built a like synthetic ice shooting room uh, where I live in, in the summer in Florida. So it's kind of like a small room, maybe 15 meters wide and 20 meters long and synthetic ice and just enough space to have your skates and, and Try different, exactly what you said, uh, you know, sometimes pulling pucks into your feet and shooting like last night, sometimes pushing them outside and, and shooting, and sometimes backhand, forehand, work on backhand shots, little stuff around the net. Um, and that's something that I really love to do. It's a process that I really enjoy uh, in the summertime. Uh, it's fun for me, and, and it's fun to try to learn new ways to, to shoot the puck. And, and um, it's not always about taking you know, the most shots as you possibly can, a thousand a day or whatever. It's, it's about trying, like you said, different, different, different shots, off balance, feet moving off, off of one foot, off the other foot, um, because, uh, you know, at the high levels of, of this game, it's, it's very difficult to find that perfect position uh, where you're most comfortable shooting. So you have to get comfortable shooting from uncomfortable positions, and, and that's typically how you score little quick shots where you where you uh, pull it in or whatever and, and then kind of catch the goalie off guard. How would you describe uh, the importance of uh, mental strength and especially confidence in terms of uh, scoring goals? Yeah, well, that's, that's huge. I mean, I think any goal scorer that uh, has been through a long slump knows that it's, it's all mental. I went beginning of the season, I had maybe one goal in the first 17 games and it gets very frustrating and you start doing things that you know, are outside of your comfort zone and trying maybe too hard and trying to chase the game instead of letting it come to you. And at the same time, when you are scoring, 
uh, you feel like everything's going to go in and there's, uh, I think, confidence and, and uh, the mental side of things uh, when it comes to scoring goals is, is uh, you know, maybe the most underrated piece of it, that, that scoring is a confidence thing, it's a habit. The more you're doing it, the more likely you're going to continue to do it and sometimes you get a little bit too, too much in your own head and, and uh, uh, confidence plays a huge role.